Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific in New York, and we are here today with Professor Louis Blois, Professor of Mathematics. We're going to go over some really solid questions to help you on the DAT and the O exam. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, uh, you'll, this is a kind of problem you'll find on the DAT. Uh, good quantitative, quantitative reasoning problem. If T and U are the tens and units digit of the product of 867,923 times 40,689, then what is the value of T plus U? Well, it's simple, right? Just multiply those in your head, right? Well, you don't really need to multiply the whole thing. All you really need to do, since we're just concerned with the tens and units place, all we need to do is concentrate on the tens and units place of each of those two numbers, uh, 23 and 89. Let's multiply those two together, okay? 9 times 3 is 27, carry the 2. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 2 is 20, 0, carry the 2. We don't have to worry about that second carry 2. Okay, we move over to 8. 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Well, we don't need to worry about anything else. The tens and units place add up to 40, 47. So what's T plus U? Well, this is T. T is 4. U is 7. 4 plus 7 equals 11. And there we are. It's choice D. All right? Here's a second problem of a very similar type. Which digit can be the units digit, the units place of 573 to the nth power, where n is a positive integer? Okay, so we're talking about 573 to the first power, second power, third power, and we have a set of choices here. Well, it turns out the digits place of 573 to the nth power is going to go cycle through the same numbers as does 3 to the nth power. Once again, all we have to do is focus on the units place. So, if we look at the successive powers of 3, we have 3 uh, to the first power is 3, 3 squared is 9, uh, the next power is 27, the next power is 81, the next power is 243, and if we pay attention, we see that the units place cycles through 3, 9, 7, 1, and then it will start to cycle again through the same 3, 9, 7, 1. So, we look at the choices here, and we see that choice C corresponds to the results of our multiplying the powers of 3 out for the first couple of places. 1, 3, 7, and 9 only. And there's our answer to the problem. We don't have to worry about any fancy multiplication of 573 to the nth power. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that. Would you agree that was an easy one and that yeah. was not so easy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not so well, easy. I thought the problem. I thought the problem was kind of hard. But. Oh yeah. Okay. It's the good. good All right. To this. Um. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed it. Um. The mystical. Um. Mythical. I should even say you're a myth, okay. Professor Boys. Okay. Um. You're loved by all. All right, guys. We'll see you in study group. Um. Hope you enjoyed this nice math video. Bye bye.